whenever you see a nodule, you see a polyp, you see a cyst, you see a tumor, you automatically know that it's going to be filled with interstitial fluid. Since that's the only real fluid that you that's available everywhere, you're going to see it full of interstitial fluid, which is blood and lymph. More lymph, generally speaking, than blood, of course, but some of these tumors, you see the blood aspects of that. And that's the lady that, that writes a lot about the gallbladder polyps. Honey, this is the lymph system in your gallbladder pushing through. They're like little tumors, if you want to call them anything. And it could be the wall of your gallbladder is getting weak from oh, interstitial lymphatic constipation. This is all about your lymph system. And remember, when things are acidic, things become anionic, which means they dehydrate, coagulate, harden, and stone up. So to unstone is definitely a base or an alkaline experience. So you, you can take the liver formulas. Um, uh, you, you definitely want to get that lymphatic formula, two kidneys, two lymphatics, I do the lymphatic one capsules, the stomach and bowel formula, hit the liver formula, and get a high up on that fruit berry and melon. You've got to move that lymph system. could take you a while. You don't have to freak out because you're moving that lymph. The, the problem is, and this is true, if you can't get to that area, if you can't move that lymph through the bowel, through the liver, then those polyps can grow on you. But you're working on it and, and that's what's most important is and if you keep working diligently and you work hard then you'll save your gallbladder you know if you end up having to have surgery you have to have surgery but uh, if you get diligent and you get focused honey you'll win this and you'll be okay don't don't freak out and relax you'll be okay uh, you just got to get this lymph moving that's really important and it's not just for the gallbladder it's for the liver as well that baby's right in there and uh, you can't have a gallbladder in trouble without having a liver somewhat in trouble so you just got to move that lymph that's all that is it's like the colon polyps that's just the lymph system you know but it's in the wall and that's the key that's all the IBS's all the polyps all the Crohn's uh, leaky gut I mean this is all in the wall malabsorption in the wall these are about uh, nodules or polyps on the vocal cords. Yeah, what could that be? Consider a nodule or a polyp, a tumor, or a cyst, or a pimple. You get all variations of the same thing. 75% lymph, 25% blood. So that's your interstitial tissues, meaning you're not moving your lymph whatsoever. And to tell you the truth, it's probably in your esophageal wall, in your gut wall, means that you're, you're probably malabsorbed on top of this as well. You could fight a little acid uh, reflex, I don't know in this case, but I will say that you got to really move your lymph. This is real important because you don't want to end up with vocal cord cancer or esophageal cancer. And if that just sits there, you know, you'll break down these tissues. So you just go in there and you move that lymph. And just as long as we're discussing, this is all about lymph work, really. If you said, what's the bottom line here to health? That's moving an acid lymph. Uh, a system that's uh, miles long, that is a, a very difficult fluid that in, in, its, in its best days, in its worst days, it's become very anionic or very dehydrated, coagulated, and uh, tough, tough to do, but you can do it. And that's what you want to get on to. If you have to, get up there on some grape fast or water fasting. You can, you'll probably hawk some stuff up too. Uh, I have nasal polyps and asthma. Will detox help? Oh man, it's the only thing that'll win your game. Uh, polyps, uh, and whether they're colon, whether they're nasal, it doesn't matter. These are like little tumors, thyroid polyps. These are like little tumors. When the lymph starts backing up, it swells the tissue. And sometimes the body forms little tumors, little cysts, little pockets, little polyps. This is all lymphatic in origin. You can cut them off, cut them out. But the problem is serious when you look at what's causing this, and that's interstitial lymphatic constipation. Absolutely. This is that backing up of the lymph, and that's what I'm saying. This isn't the blood doing it. Wait, what's your other flood? Lymph, interstitial, and that's what that is. And you've got, and that just shows you you're not filtering well, and 
when it's up in the head and the sinuses, guys, always know that the gut is probably always involved. So they really need to get into the gut tissue, the GI tract, use the stomach and bowels, use a lymphatic capsule and the GI broom, and really get in and clean that bowel up. That's lymphatics. And get those lymphs moving, and that's how you win the day. Absolutely.